Okay, so these are his further allegations from the last time that I spoke about him. Uh, it says, I want to add, I never groomed anyone. The person who gets brought up in these accusations is Lava GS has vocally supported that they are false. So there here's, okay, here's the first thing. Lava GS is like a friend of Tyson and the messages between her and Chris Tyson are uh, leaked by third parties. Like she was excited that this massive content creator was talking to her. So she like shared these messages to people who leaked them out. And then Lava GS came out and said, no, no, don't cancel Ava. Oh, she's such a beautiful, strong trans woman. I never felt creeped out by her. It's like the never denies the messages. All the messages were real, but she's just defending Chris Tyson. <laughs> That's the gist of it. So he's saying, um, actually, Thwetty, the 14-year-old that I had explicit conversations with said that she liked him. So uh, checkmate. I'm just going to say that. When I say she, I'm talking about the 14-year-old fucking girl, dipshit. Uh, having said that, I humbly apologize to anyone I have hurt with my unacceptable social media posts, past actions, and those who may feel betrayed by how I used to act online. To lump those two factors together to create narratives that my behavior extended beyond bad edgy jokes is disgusting and did not happen. In the past years, I have learned that my old humor is not acceptable. I cannot change who I was, but I can continue to work on myself. Uh, apparently, you very much can change who you are. <laughs> um, I don't want these accusations to impact the hundreds of people who work at Mr. Beast, which is why I have stepped away. Um, and then people make fun of them for that. There's a, I want to say there was a message. Oh, this is in the actual community happenings thread. I'll get to that. There's been three different people who were allegedly groomed by Chris Tyson. There is, um, a statement by, uh, Mr. Beast himself, which if I can't find, no, this is funny. This is the, I read this tweet on uh, stream last year too. Yeah, this is getting absurd. Chris is my, isn't my nightmare. He's my fucking friend, and these things are fine. All this transphobia is really starting to piss me off. Tell me how that transphobia is working out for you now, retard. I love it when retards get to eat shit. You know, uh, Mr. Beast has, like, this massive studio, right? And he just struck, like, a huge deal with um, Amazon. I just love, I just love, I see it clear as day in my head. They got that boy in the gimp suit, like in, um... Uh, uh, Pulp Fiction, and they just got him bent over the barrel, and all the Amazon people are just taking terms fucking him in the ass because he fucked up and made them look bad. And he just got—he just has to put up with it. What are you gonna not get fucked in the ass for a billion dollars? You ever seen that man's eyes? These dead ghoulish eyes of Mr. Beast. He—he's already done it before. <clears throat> okay, um, let me go to X real quick, and I'll find the Mr. Beast tweet. I don't know if I read that on stream, but I will um, read it again just in case. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, this is his last tweet. Um, I'm going to reread this just in case. Let's see, what one's this? July 25th. Oh, it was yesterday. Okay, I didn't read it. It says... Over the last few days, I have become aware of the serious allegations of Ava Tyson's behavior online, and I am disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts. During that time, I had been focused on hiring an independent third party con to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure I have all the facts. That said, I've seen enough online and have taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, and any association with Mr. Beast. I do not support or condone any of the inappropriate actions. I will, I will allow the independent investigators the necessary time to conduct a comprehensive investigation and will take any further actions based on their finding. Okay. Reading this remi instantly reminded me of something that I'll try to pull up for you really quick. Sort of a, one of those cysts in my brain. Okay, I found it. Give me a second. Get to the right point. Vibrating. Nine times out of ten, it's an electric razor. But... 
Every once in a while. It's a dildo. Of course, it's company policy never to imply ownership in the event of a dildo. We have to use the indefinite article, a dildo, never your dildo. I do. In the event of a heckin' transphobic, transgender, heckin' wholesome transgender sex pest, we always use the definite article, the unacceptable acts, never his unacceptable acts. Which is burning into my fucking brains like the unacceptable, such unacceptable acts, the inappropriate actions, um, their findings, never his tranny sex pest chat logs. Never, never, no pronouns either way. Yeah, Ava Tyson, which kind of, I don't know, sounds like a sci-fi name, I guess. Uh, what is it? Is it a man? Is it a woman? What'd they do? Oh, you don't want to say. The message, by the way, is also very clunky. It's kind of weird coming from a multi-billion dollar creator industry, right? Where you would expect, um, you know, like a really really comprehensive message and instead it feels like there were literally like 40 people with like a google doc open i'm just imagining like you have the google doc and then it's like three paragraphs and there's like 40 different colors of cursors like on every single line and you have like an entire zoo of animals on the top right representing all the accounts that are editing this document and they're like no 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 drop the, drop the fucking articles drop the pronouns put in the using a definite article do not address any kind of gender anything in this message and they're just like editing random shit all at once and this is how it comes out by the end of it <laughs> like it's just it just doesn't seem like a human like a person wrote it because it doesn't flow correctly it seems like multiple people just dropped in words like someone wrote out like the general gist of it someone expanded it to a third like four paragraphs someone took out a paragraph someone replaced a couple words someone took out random pronouns and replaced them with definite articles or addressed them like in a roundabout way where you wouldn't have to use any pronouns like that's that's exactly um <laughs> That's exactly how this reads to me. I can see this clear as fucking day in my mind. Um, <laughs> there's chat GPT. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I can do this real quick. Let's see what I get. Ah, it's going to give me a fucking wall for this. Give me a second. I really want to try to do this because it would be very funny if I can pull it off. No, I'm not signed in. Let's try Bing. If not, I'm going to put, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to post it to my phone and see what I get. Cause uh, I'm, I'm really curious if, um, if Bing is capable to, Oh, Oh, I, I do accept the terms of service. Microsoft. I do. I am a human. Okay, it's trying. Wait, no, wait. It's still asking me to verify that I'm a human. It's doing it again, chat. It's doing it again. I'm using a VPN, a different VPN, and I think this one has really low IP reputation. Okay, this is the sixth time that I'm doing it. Okay, now it says something went wrong. <sighs> I noticed that VPN use is getting harder. Harder and harder to actually fucking do. Just it just hates VPNs now. Okay, I give up. It's it's just like stuck asking me to fucking verify. Where's my phone at? There's my phone. Okay. Sorry, I know this is not very entertaining, but I am. I, I I'm like in like a little an autism fit, and I have to see what happens if I type this in. Copy. Being a ruski. Chat GPT. Ask me anything. I sure as fuck will. I can't assist with creating a public statement for this matter. Get legal help. <laughs> well, if the fucking chat, if the Google one won't give me a result, it's not going to give me anything from Gemini. I'm just fucked. I'll give you my prompt if the Google one doesn't doesn't work. I think I'm signed into Google on my phone. 
Okay, yes, I accept. Now, paste in my prompt. I am not a program to assist with that. <laughs> Is there like an open LLM that I can use? Neither Google and uh, Gemini are like, I'm not fucking touching that. <laughs> My query is, my friend Ava Tyson, a transgender, is accused of sexually explicit acts with a minor. Please write me a three-paragraph public statement with maximum PR language, never addressing Ava as a woman or a man, never using pronouns. The fucking chat GPD saw that, and, like, my PR statement is, go fuck yourself, retard. <laughs> Dude, this is why the statement's so clunky. He went to chat GPT and was like, Microsoft, please help me. And Microsoft was like, sorry, brother, you're on your own. There's no helping with that shit. <laughs> maybe I can maybe I can twist it just really quick. Let's see. Um I'll I'll take out sexually explicit and I'll say my is accused of um Non-descript. Non-descript sounds better. Okay. Then we'll see. Can Bing, can Bing, please? Bing, you don't understand. Amazon is calling me. I've been called by Amazon 47 times in the last hour. I really need help, Amazon. I need help, Microsoft. Amazon's going to fucking rape me again, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. He just refuses, flat out fucking refuses, bro. All right, sorry, sorry, Mr. Beast. You gotta put on the ball gag, bro. It's over. <laughs> I'm asking for PR, so it doesn't like it. Okay. Um, it might be time to move to a different topic. Let's start over. Is accused of nondescript acts. I'll just say bet is accused of doing something wrong. My friend. Now then I'll take out a transgender. And then I'll say n never use PR. We'll just say never addressing Eva as a woman or man and never using pronouns. Okay. It's thinking. Does it want to. Here's a public statement. I did it. I just had to take out anything about trannies or sex with kids. We are aware of recent allegations involving Asa, Ava Tyson and understand the concerns that have been raised. It is important to emphasize that these allegations are taken very seriously and a thorough investigation is currently underway to ascertain all the facts. We believe in the importance of due process and ensuring that all parties involved are treated fairly and with respect. Ava Tyson has been a valued member of our community and is disheartening to see such serious accusations being made. While the investigation is ongoing, Ava has decided to step away from public activities to focus on personal well-being and to allow the investigation to proceed without any distractions. This decision reflects a commitment to transparency and accountability. We ask for patience and understanding from the public as the investigation continues. It is crucial to avoid jumping to conclusions and to allow the process to unfold. We remain committed to upholding the highest standard of integrity and will provide updates as more information becomes available. And then ChatGPT signs off and says, I hope this helps. If you need any adjustments or additional information, please let me know. We did it, Reddit. Uh, perfect. Excellent statement. In fact, I think that Microsoft gave me a better reply. I would just take out a couple lines about... Um, assuming that he is is innocent or guilty or whatever and just saying well, we're looking into it don't make any statements about that chat gpt i bro chris you gotta give me you gotta hook me up with that amazon cash bro i got you i know how to handle this ah computers are so cool chat um so these are the other logs uh so this is someone went to the effort of downloading um all of the uh, Chris Discord servers, and I think that these logs are about like a 14-year-old freaking out about not safe for work stuff. Uh, LS Themo says, "Yikes, yikes, what the fuck?" An actual 14-year-old running a not safe for work server. What the fuck is this? Um, Atlas R2 says, "Daddy's a little slut. Ooh, woo, bitch, go to class. What the fuck? You're late for algebra, dumbass." Cookies of God says, "Thank you, Adam." LS Simon says, "I'm joining the server, importing every single one of them." Um, so this is a 14-year-old in Chris's server that runs a not-safe-for-work server himself called Daddy's Little Slut Ulu. 
Um, I remember uh, Chris Tyson got in trouble for calling a 14-year-old or having a 14-year-old call him daddy in other logs, which is a bit interesting. Thank God it's only hentai. <laughs> I should get banned. I've always wondered. I got to pick a server. He's 14. That makes me sad. Daddy's little pet, 14-year-old boy. My guy, have you ever tried pussy yet? <laughs> Sorry, bro. He got molested. He's not, that's, that's not on the menu for him. He needs to stop. I'm about to ban him from my server. Perm to, per, permission to ban him? He keeps talking about role play stuff, and he's 14 in a server of not safe for work stuff. Um, and then Lava, who is the 14-year-old, I'm pretty sure, says, report him to Discord. Uh, Lava realizes that she might have some competition coming up if uh, she doesn't take this take this trash out immediately. Um, here's the fucking train wreck if anyone wants to read it, and then it's called brapedoedition.txt. So this is a chat log. Lalas Themo says, yikes, let's call CPS. Um... And they're saying I'm about to ban him from my server. Yikes on the 14-year-old kid like bruv. Do, do, zoomies do have fucking brain damage. Can they communicate? They do ban him when they talk about it a little bit. Is that a ban report? What? Let's see what I ask. Pretty sure he's wearing shorts. Actually, you can tell it was airbrushed. I would ban probably. Take the honors. There you go. So that looks like a, a like a kid that was in shorts, but I got airbrushed out to make him look naked. Um, they're sending links to the server. One of the mods asked a guy to change his profile picture, and then the user sent him a video of a child being killed. Let's see. Uh, Boy Jedi says, I will never get that on my head now. Halazi says, why the hell did he even have that on his computer? He could seriously get in trouble, and that's disgusting. Lava says, report to TOS. Avery says, what the fuck was it? Halazi says, child porn. Um, And then Lava says... The day after, we're probably we're going to get a partnership with Discord. <laughs> Discord's child pornography scanner went off and says child pornography detected at the Ava Chris Tyson Discord server. And then the first was like, oh, thank God, send them the send them the the affiliate the affiliate welcome package. <laughs> the Discord. <laughs> Uh, finally, it's the one of those hidden check mo uh, check boxes on the list that they don't tell you about. But once it happens, then you're then you're good to go. You get the special badge and everything. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, the mods deleting more porn. So this, these guys are underage. Just had to bet this guy from posting porn. Yo, mods don't know if anyone if Discord IP banned someone if you banned them from the server. The same guy that posted porn, PP Skin, is trying to ban evade. Uh, Discord doesn't IP ban. All bans are IP bans on Discord. What do you mean? And then Avery says they used to be, but they stopped doing that a while ago. Um, you know, they're basically just having. I guess the moderators are underage. I guess that's what's implied. Because Lav, Lava, I think if that's Lav, that's um, uh, the one that got accused of grooming. Interesting. So everyone's trying to kill Mr. Beast is what I'm trying to get get the point across. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!